IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Brentwood Centre in Brentwood today with me, making his comeback, Mr. Tony Conquest. Yep. Long awaited. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, I was actually retired for two years, wasn't going to fight anymore, but uh, lo and behold, got bored. back. Well, it's not just that, it's just I was doing weights and stuff, got quite heavy, missed it a bit. But the thing is, I got married, and then I had my son. I thought, you know, I'm going to give it one last roll of the dice and just see what I can do. There's no pressure, is there? You know, I can just come back and do whatever I want to do. There's no, like, no weight on my shoulders, nothing. I can just enjoy myself. Obviously, you said you took the time out, you were... Uh sort of uh, completed life goals, tick boxes, got married, yeah. got a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was properly, I mean I've always been settled but I'm properly settled in life now, you know. A true adult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, finally, 33 years of age, I'm growing it up. Took long, yeah, it did, yeah. But now no, I'm doing really, really well, I'm enjoying training. So yeah, all good. Um, a tough opponent tonight. I mean, yeah. I think you could have hit him with everything and the kitchen sink. Yeah, but, I was um, going to put the stall up at one point, <laughs> I thought I'd give that a go, but yeah, it was I tough. mean, he's been the Rousey Watch as well, Dillian White. Yeah, he's been in with some good heavyweights, yeah. And, yeah. and they never stopped him, so I mean, there was no sort of pressure going in there, you knew he was going to no. be a tough operator. I mean, I, I heard him once or twice bobbled him here and there, and you know, that's, that's good enough for me. Yeah. It would have been lovely to stop him, obviously, but two years out, long time. Distance and timing, a bit off, so. But um, he, said, he still said after you, after the fight, and I want it in the actual accent, what do you say? He actually said to me, oh, you're very, very good. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I can't do the actual accent. It was, yeah. it was a good accent in the yeah. chat a minute ago. You had it on point. I don't, he's a tough little yeah. fella. I don't yeah, he's a dude outside. <laughs> yeah. um, no, obviously, well, since you've been away, uh, the division, a little bit of young blood has come up. Come up. Yeah, I was just um, talking about this earlier, yeah. Um, I mean, Lawrence Coley's out there, people like that. I mean, yeah. you're a name. Fantastic. People could be gunning for you. I mean, what sort yeah. of fight are you looking for? Anyone and everyone, to be honest. Anyone and everyone. I've come back for certain reasons. Uh, obviously, financially, things have got to make sense to take fights. So that's what I'm looking at. If, you, if a fight's financially viable and looks good, I'll have that. If another fight comes up to better, I'll have that. I mean, do you think the comeback will be easier? Because you only got, you got the two losses on your, uh, yeah, yeah, on on your to, uh, record so far. Neil Dawson, 2012, I lost to Neil Dawson. Uh, then I lost to Oval McKenzie in 2014. But then after I lost to Oval, we stopped John Lewis Dickinson in two rounds. Beat my, beat my good friend of mine, Matty Askin, over 12 rounds. And obviously you got a draw in Argentina. With an Argentinian world champion. That says Which, it, apparently, yeah. I didn't, I've never actually seen the fight, but apparently it should have... I watched it, it was two rounds up, I thought, like, like easily two rounds up. I'm going to be truthful, I had a tenner on the draw. Did you? At 25 to 1. Oh, you, got, you put a bock on it. <laughs> Cheers, Ivan. <laughs> I'm not looking for that. Yeah. But I mean, uh, what do you want? What do you want out of boxing from now? I mean, because that old enough, 33? 33 now, yeah. So anything, anything and everything, it's, you know, whatever comes up, I'll be happy with it. Fair enough. But have you been on the sunbeds? Nah, I've just, just been punched in the face by an Eastern European man for sure. Uh, all the teeth whining, I mean, you're looking very Essex since you've uh, left and come back. Looking dark. I do live in Romford, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Right, well, listen, Tony, well done tonight. Um, oh, thank you. The thanks comeback is on. Yep. Uh, a pleasure talking to you. Lovely. Catch thanks. you soon. Cheers, and mate. Thanks for the time for the TV. Thanks very much. Cheers.